Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have been missing all of you guys. Um, I know it's been such a long time since I've been posting videos, but I've just been busy with life. I have been so happy every time I see you guys comment and share your thoughts and opinions and I, I love it. And especially when I see that most of you guys appreciate and really enjoy my content, it truly makes me so grateful and so, so just in happiness really every time i see you guys interact and with me and even with each other so i just want you all to just feel like it's a safe space my community and well it's not really a community yet but <laughs> my little small youtube channel and i just want you all to feel like it is a safe space to express your opinions your questions um i love I truly, truly do love responding to all of you guys' questions and thoughts. So please do share. Don't be shy. Every question is such a great opportunity to learn something new and share something with other people. So with that long intro being said, the next um, celebrity breakdown I wanted to um, do today was Nicola Peltz. And if you don't know who Nicola Peltz is, she is an actress and a model, I believe, as well. And she's mostly known for being married to one of Victoria and um, David Beckham's children, who is called Brooklyn Beckham. He's very, um, uh, he's a very young boy, and they both got married recently. I don't think it's a long time ago now. But they had been together for a little while, and I remember one of the comment sections wanted me to um, create a breakdown of Nicola. So I thought, why not? But I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know much about Nicola besides her being uh, married to Brooklyn Be Beckham. So I was really intrigued and interested to read about her and just read about her life and her um, upbringing and also just her dating life has also been a of an attraction lately for a lot of people so I wanted to kind of like dissect that a little bit and I wanted to focus on because there's one aspect of Nicola Peltz I've noticed which is that she has a tendency to make men obsessed with her and not in this not in a taboo way because i believe when you say the word that somebody is obsessed with you you kind of get this vision of it being a negative thing and it's kind of stalkerish but i mean more in the sense that she does have a tendency to date or the people that she dates has a tendency to really fall deeply in love with her and of course we can't really um be sure of how obsessed and how much these guys have been in love with her of course because we're only watching everything from the outside but if we do look at just youtube videos and articles and just pictures i can just tell from um the interaction she has and even the way that her ex-boyfriends talk about her even though they've broken up it's such a respectful manner and such a um, nice way so for me one thing I always look towards with these celebrity women is how do past relationship or past exes talk about them till today if they still regard them in such a nice uh, way it just tells me that um, this person has been able to end a relationship at least at least one relationship in a very mature manner and to me it's one of the biggest compliments if an ex-friend or an ex-boyfriend ever talks nicely about me and stuff it just kind of reinforces that idea that i know that i was a good person in that situation but of course do remember that what people say about you does not really reflect on you anyways so that doesn't really matter i know it was very contradicting but um let's just get into it so number one is always say people who like you more than you like them this is maybe a little bit controversial, but the most successful relationships and long-lasting relationships I've seen has always consisted of the man being more interested in the girl and the woman. So I think there is a little bit of a truth to that because if I wanted to um, be with somebody that I liked very much and was 
very much infatuated and obsessed with them we do have this tendency of looking at these people with the rose gold or like rose i don't know the metaphor but we tend to look at these people we're not really seeing them for who they truly are we're just viewing them from a very um a perfected vision we have of them in our own heads and unfortunately that vision is not always right we have to be a little bit more um critical when we meet people we're interested in and we want to have a future with we have to kind of look at them in more of a dissecting way and not in this rose-colored uh, view of them not in this oh this is prince charming he's perfect even though you've just met and known him for a few weeks nobody's perfect after just a few weeks this is just this is just human beings in general so that's why i always have this rule where i make sure that um if i'm interested in someone i make sure that it's not coming from a place where i'm already very much just putting this on them on a high pedestal and believing that they are not real human being and they're just very much perfect i think it's very unrealistic and this won't really be a healthy foundation for any relationship really so make sure that when you meet people make sure that you come in and you're realistic and you look at them for who they truly are and don't put anyone on a pedestal that's the whole point so that's why i always think that guys have this tendency to fall really really hard for girls but us women i think that we should just be a little bit more picky and choosy and just careful and make sure that if he loves you and cares you it's okay if you want to take it slow and you're not sure about your own emotions yet that doesn't mean that you don't like them either it just means that you're taking your own time and speed with it we live in a society unfortunately where everything is sped up we feel like we meet somebody fine we have to now jump to being in a relationship but that's not the case take your time and also just don't let um passion and chemistry be reasons for why you date somebody that shouldn't be your number one it should be other things like values integrity and so forth so look at those things yeah so i really like that i've been about nicola because it seems to me that she dates guys that are way more interested in her than she's in them and i'm not saying that she's not interested in them at all but i'm just saying there's a tendency where i see that in her videos with brooklyn for instance he's way more um intrigued when she's speaking and he's attuned while she's more seems like she's very much focused on herself a little bit more and there's nothing wrong with that in relationships i think you should always put yourself first and then everything else will fall into perfectly so next one is have your own set of goals and life purposes that are independent from guys nicola does acting and modeling and she does have her own set of um interests it seems so i feel like i always go through this in every video but i truly do believe that men in general and just people in general are intrigued of people that have a life that is their own they have their own set of goals and and ambitions that they want to achieve it can be anything but i feel like that is very attractive and next one is how create deep connections with um, people that you meet and i feel like the number one way to do that is through creating friendships so if you meet a guy that you like or create a friendship with them because i've seen that the most successful like relationships and so forth has always been the one where you have a friendship because you have that foundation and i've no noticed especially with men they have a tendency to want to be best friends with the people that they date because once they have that bond they feel like they can trust you so make sure you create this deep connection that starts from a friendship and they want to be able to feel like they can be themselves around you because who can we truly be ourselves with if the if it isn't our own friends so i feel like that is the mindset of a lot of people so make sure that when you're first dating somebody be critical on with your standards and then create like this friendship with them do you enjoy spending time with them when the chemistry when the passion i mean is died down all of that is answered by if you're able to be friends with them so i feel like that is really important and next up is have fun um i feel like nicola 
out of her videos especially with brooklyn she has a lot of fun she seems in that relationship to be the fun one and i can only imagine that with all of her other exes as well she, i mean she dated justin bieber as well and i've always associated him with being also a very silly uh, celebrity person more in the sense that he's just silly with her his behavior he likes to be funny and make jokes so i feel like somebody that is a little bit like that is able to be with somebody like that back to my point um be fun it's I mean, you're allowed to relax i feel like us women because society and the whole world is extremely harsh and they expect so much from us and i truly truly from my heart feel really sad about that but however life is extremely short and we should be able to enjoy it have fun be spontaneous and i know for a fact that i'm not a very i'm naturally i'm not a very spontaneous person i would say i'm very much routine routine all the time i love my routines of everything but it is important to get out of your um, comfort zone life doesn't owe us anything so therefore we can't expect anything to just happen to us we have to go and create it we have to go outside our comfort zone and having that fun energy is very magnetic we, this is why we have a tendency to love comedians and we love like these celebrities that are funny and goofy and silly we always adore them that's why they make so many views on youtube and so forth compilations of like jennifer lawrence being hilarious it's because we're so drawn into people that are funny and silly and doesn't take themselves too seriously and are able to have a laugh and joke and even take a joke. I feel like that is so magnetic and when I look for a significant other, that is definitely one of the most important things I need as well. So make sure you find that within yourself. I do believe we have that. It's just hard to find because of every external thing that's happened to us but find that side of yourself and enjoy that side of yourself you're allowed to so last but not least is learn to move on and always stick to your standards um nicola peltz i've noticed most of her relationships that are documented have only lasted between like a year or maybe two years but they've never really lasted longer than that and the, obviously we don't have any specific um statement on why that is the case but i've noticed that date somebody and if you date them for like a year you're pretty much able to see who they are after a year and how they are and you can decide from then on if you want this person in your life or not so if you just notice after a year that this isn't the person i want to be with they're not making me better they're not satisfying my needs and my standards then you move on even doesn't well i'm not gonna say um straight that it doesn't matter but it doesn't really matter in the big scheme of things because if you want to achieve something if you want to achieve something as in a goal you have to be very very vigilant about everything you do so even including the people you date and the people you surround yourself with so if you feel like your standards are not up to it by within a year i would seriously consider um cutting it off as a friendship or just moving on from them in general because we as i said before we only have one life so we need to be able to be happy and make sure that the decisions we take we take them because we're thinking about ourselves and sometimes it is um, I'm gonna quote one of my favorite books, which is Harry Potter. That is sometimes in life you have to choose between what is right and what is easy. So make sure that you choose the right decision, which is you wanna find your significant others. That means you can't be wasting time. And if you follow these things, you'll notice that men start to gravitate you because you have this fun energy. You don't settle, you just leave if you don't see what you want. And you also are like a friend to them and you're able to leave situations gracefully and you have your own set of goals and all of these traits that I mentioned are such charismatic and magnetic things about any type of person, women or male. So make sure that you adapt these values and, and these principles. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please do let me know in the comments down below what you thought. Let me know what you want to see next. I'm open for any suggestions and I really, really uh, hope you guys enjoyed it as I said before and take care. Bye.